and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Ajani's Pride. We're going to go ahead and try this deck again. This was a deck that we had in the first week of the new format that was honestly a lot of fun to play, mostly because this card, Ajani Strength of the Pride, new M20 Planeswalker. Um, I, was, I have to say that I was really impressed with the strength of this card. Hmm. I should... I could have had a better pun there. I didn't. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, um, I was I was definitely impressed with with uh, this card. Hawk, are you coming up here? Okay. You like a Johnny? Or you just want my yogurt that I just opened up? Um, but yeah, this card was just a lot of fun to play. It was pretty strong and everything, and so I wanted to play this deck again. Um, is our deck like super powerful? No. No, our deck's not like one of the best decks or anything like that. But we have a cool little life gain theme going on here with playing 12 pride mates. You know, we have like these pride mates, the aerialists are more pride mates, the Ajani's make some pride mates. So we got lots of pride mates in here trying to gain life with a lot of little things and get some counters on them and make some large creatures. Playing these four Takali honor guards over here in the sideboard to help shut down... Um, the blue-green decks that are running around, the Risen Reef decks, and the Counterspell deck. Also, stop Frilled Mystic from doing stuff. Yeah, so McFlash is going to be the last deck we play tonight. Yep. So we got two more decks here today. Been live for eight hours so far. So we got four more hours to go. Probably about that, you know, play a bit... Hopefully play, you know, about two hours of both both decks here. I had to grab a little snack. We got a couple of yogurts. Hmm. Good old one lander, one lander. All right, let's see what we got. Go, birdies, go. No! Ah, missed the attack button. Well, we'll see if that one point of damage gets us. Probably not. Like, we're probably going to die to this Nexus deck. Unfortunately, gaining life doesn't really help you against a, a deck that doesn't that isn't going to attack you. What are you doing? You don't get my yogurt. I was like, where'd the yogurt go? Hmm. 
Well, they don't have any kind of like card advantage engine or anything like that yet. Blood Wolf, please don't, re please don't uh, refer to decks like that. Don't call them cancer. That's just very insensitive to people that have put up with the very real and tough battle. I don't, I don't appreciate that in, in the chat. <clears throat> All right, so, you know, they, they have the four cards. They don't have any, like, card advantage things yet. Like right now, they're sure they're casting Nexus, but they're not, they're not gaining any. You know, like they don't have Ascanta or anything like that. They're not gaining any value each turn. They're just taking more turns. All right, now that's a card advantage card. So it's sideboard wise, we're gonna. Like, you know, we'll be bringing in, like, Dispark. This this game's not over yet, though. It's likely over, but it's not over yet. They play an Ascanta or Tamiyo, something like that, but it's not... It's just not quite over yet. Okay, well... That's Ascanta. Yeah, there's only four Nexus, so, like, they can't just have Nexus forever, right? I'll give it to him now. <clears throat> Alright, all the Duress is in. And some Disparks. Don't have a lot of stuff in here. Actually ended up cutting some good cards against Nexus. You know, ended up to be able to fit all these Honor Guards in. Trim to Dispark. We don't have any, like, Mortifies. Um... I suppose we try this. Yeah, I guess Nox Noxus Grasp could be an upgrade over Contempt. No, we didn't see any M20 cards. They don't usually play a lot of M20 cards. Though I don't I don't know if they play any M20 cards. Honestly. There's like Veil of Summer in the sideboard. We gotta get our fastest clock that we can. We gotta get like our two drop, three drop creature out here first. We'll have the dress later. You play Drawn, drawn from Dreams? I like that card a lot. I like the art and everything.
No. Yeah, I guess I should have played the other Pride Mate first, shouldn't I? Two more Root Snares. Yeah, if I would have played this other Pride Mate first before the Scoured Barons, it would have been a 3-3. And then with this land, I could activate Resplendent Angel and force them to... <clears throat> Root Snare, you know, could have had lethal. But... We're still good. Good-ish. Until they find, like, Reclamation. Well, the vampire didn't gain any life with the attack. It was the private would have been a three three because they root snared. So <clears throat> the life leak didn't do didn't do any damage. That was a case of me playing fast. All right, like our chances still. No reclamation. That's good. We've gone through three root snares. All right. Othakaya could finish them off with attack with damage, I suppose. Is that better than a Johnny Strength of the Pride? Than playing four mana Pride Mates? Maybe. Um, it, yeah, it kind of depends on the meta, Blood Wolf, and, and it depends on, like, what, you know, what you're trying to beat. Uh, good question. The question is, is Enchantment Artifact Hate just not strong in decks that have the option to sideboard it? 
<clears throat> right now it's kind of just Nexus being like the main deck that you really want um, artifact and enchantment hate against. There's also like mono white and stuff, but but I'm it's so important against Nexus though that it's kind of worth playing a good amount. So the problem with playing a whole bunch of more one drops, of course, is this blast zone here. I guess we still do though. Yeah, I do, content. Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Yeah, uh, information about um, deck reviews. I call them deck techs. Down in the in the info panel about donations. Yeah, no, yeah, three mana, five, six flyer. Definitely no joke. Not playing the other Heroes Hawk, though, again, because of the Blast Zone. Honor to meet you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Hmm. I don't have lethal on them right now. I'm gonna save the Dispark. I have learned all I can here. Because, yeah, Reclamation is certainly the card that I'm most scared of. I'm going to see, you know, it's like we we would have put them down to one with them not blocking there. Not a huge difference between one and seven. I mean, I guess, I guess Oath of Kaya being in our deck makes it a difference. But I like that we have... A Dispark still. Alright, I guess I don't mind if they actually spend a turn blast zoning away these one drops right about now. Uh, 
Um, I'm not. I'm not sure the reference there. The zone to mouse over the planeswalker that was just killed. I guess I'm not. I'm not sure what that looks like on your screen. Yeah, the the yeah the blood yeah the bloodthirsty aerialist is upside down. Or she's she's hanging upside down. Basically, playing Resplendent Angel gives my opponent another 3-drop to Blast Zone away, and I don't want them having another 3-drop. So that's two Root Snares? Could be three? No, nope, just two. We have to keep finding Root Snares. Okay. That's good for us. And that's game. A Johnny's Pride life gain deck. Shows you how strong these these Pride mates are. The flying Pride mates and the non-flying, you know, game two is the non-flying Pride mates. Game three here is the flying ones. Our life gain deck beating Nexus. How about that? How about that? <clears throat> yeah, all the all the videos from today are uploaded to the YouTube channel right now, except for this one that we're playing. But even the Rakdos one is already up on the YouTube channel now. I got out there quickly. All right, well, we're in Mold of Five again. Mode, that's the only games we've lost where I'm to five. Planes. Hmm. I want to keep the three lands. I guess Resplendent. I don't know. Resplend Resplendent's nice, though. Am I supposed to play the Healer's Hawk first? <laughs> kind of regret playing the Scour Barons. Bleh. So I'm thinking we're going to be minus twoing. Yeah, go minus two to start with. Yeah, we could we could try to get to 35. Tick up would gain three life. Gets to 25. Attack for one gets us 26. We could just go that route. I want to withered through 
Okay, release a concede animation where the cats the cats get up, walk all over the cards, pushing them off with a pause. That would be pretty sweet. I'm down for that. Yeah, like whenever you, whenever you concede, the, the cats get up and do that. I like it. All right, more primates. Let's just cannot protect themselves. A pure soul can Let's just go lots of primates. Next turn we'll play this pride mate tick up on a Johnny. Uh, I guess that was a reason not to attack with the 3-3. Three, three. The land fights for us. Oh, I gained an extra life with the landing. I didn't want to like show my opponent that I was going to have the landing. But we would have gained an extra life, though. Yeah, get get that Risen Reef out of here. Cease this aggression. Could be at 29. Which twenty nine could be could be the difference because then taking up a Johnny here gets us to thirty four attacking with the healer's hawk makes it thirty five. No, that won't really make it that big a difference because then the next even without that just going to thirty four the next turn we could healer's hawk. Boo! Just every deck is every deck is blue green nexus. Yeah, we're gonna have to dodge mass manipulation for sure. We can't. We just can't beat mass manipulation. Nothing really we can really do about that. All their their forests add two mana because of Nessus. That's why they. That's how they were able to cast Nexus. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Friendship is the best cure. These blue green cards that they have in standard are ridiculous. Like nothing's rotating out besides Land War Elf. Bleh. The land shall conquer you. Okay, let's try all this kind of stuff. It's a lot of cyborg cards coming in.
Just gonna cut down on basically all of the the little creatures. They're just not gonna get in against a bunch of green creatures. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Yeah, like they were attacking with their 11-11 trampler and I'm pretty sure they just had another nexus and everything. Honor Guard stops Risen Reef. Doesn't do anything against Hydra Crisis, but they probably play. They're probably playing the five six elemental as well, you know, with Risen Reef, so that thing won't trigger. That's still a five six. Their turn can't be very difficult. There we go. Thank you. No, Beetle would be so much worse than Honor, than Honor Guard. Have to stop Risen Reef. So I know we could we could kill that Riptar Raptor, but dang. Wanted to get <clears throat> Nissa out of their hand. Beetle is good against Krasis, you know, like be like the thing is Krasis still draws a bunch of cards, but it's just not a creature anymore. But no, honor guard stopping Risen Reef. Very important. Keep them from having tons of cards and card advantage. No drill bit. Drill bit's just always worse than duress. Basically, drill bit's just drill bit's just never better. I think the the one time drill bit's better is main deck. If you main deck drill bit, I think that's reasonable. <clears throat> the thing is, is like drill bit just doesn't cost one mana very often, especially in post cyborg games when you're bringing in more interaction. It's just it's hard for it to actually cost one mana. There's it's way too often costing three mana. And really hurting you. I would have loved to get some more primates down before that grasp, but we have two lands. Oh my gosh, play the primate first. Ugh, I was just so excited.
Yeah, we... Uh, not, not the best order. So it looks like they're just good at Nexus. I don't, I didn't have a good block, like I don't have a good block there anyway. Yeah, this isn't a pride mate deck, right? Correct. Blight Beetle doesn't stop Nissa at all either. I don't. I don't like Blight Beetle. I I wouldn't put Blight Beetle in any deck. I mean, if you're like a a a deck that really cares about the counters, or like just a creature, if you really care about like a two mana creature, if you're like a, a black aggro deck that really cares about the creatures, you need to have like a really high creature count for something. Um, through feud or feast, your blood is but the weak. Attack. That's a lot of triggers. Those things are kind of big. Uh, you kind of you need four blockers, opponent. Do they have another nexus? Two, three, four, five. Well, they can't cast nexus. The honor guard kept them from drawing a bunch of cards. Good job, honor guard.
Mm. Gideon's not so good against Ripjaw Raptor. That's not a great matchup. Oh, now some Othakaias to kill stuff? I guess I just hope they don't... Hmm. I guess I'll play Gideon's. Maybe Othakaias. Maybe one of each. We'll go the Coward's Way, outplay one of each. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Honor Guard only getting Risen Reef is certainly worth it, because Risen Reef is worth so many cards. Party. Hmm. We want our hand to be all risen reefs. And have three risen reefs. No, not a Tamio. I really wouldn't mind drawing a swamp here. You hear that deck? Would not mind drawing a swamp. That's unfortunate. They're very good at getting what they named. Guess we're getting this thing in play. Do not harm my scrolls. I know. Why do these green walkers have to have six loyalty? Both Tamio and Nissa really do not need six loyalty. So much loyalty. Yeah, content. Yeah, you could do that. And just send me I'll just I'll just uh take a look at your deck here while we're playing. What a strange and magnificent world. If you have any questions about your deck, you know, like anything you're struggling with, anything you know, let me know like your your questions about your deck. So much loyalty. Oh come on. Ugh. They're just three for three. They just always know what's on top. Day for justice. I believe in you. Uh, 
destroy my patience. I don't, I don't know how we're going to really beat this mass manipulation, TBH. They they don't have the four blue right now. So it's we have one more turn. Oh wait, no, yes they do have the four blue because they, they untap once they play that land, now they have the four blue because they can untap. So they can take they can steal two things right now. They can still steal, steal two things. All right, well, they'll steal a whole lot more things the next turn. Let's do a mass manipulation. It's like we're trying to, like, do all these things here. You know, taking so many, like, you know, doing so many decisions and everything of, like, what, what, we, what, what we can do and all that kind of stuff. And just, oh, hey, I have, I have this manipulation. I have mass manipulation, so you lose because I just take all of your things and all of your decisions that you made throughout every single turn of the game didn't matter. Cool, thanks. Glad to hear it. Especially they would stop printing cards like that. Mass manipulation, command the dread horde. Those those kind of cards that just All you have to do is just play them and you win the game on, on your own no matter what what happened beforehand. All right, we'll see if we're playing against Nexus for the third time in a row. Hopefully not. Looks like it, though. Looks like the same matchup. Okay, no, this is a teamer. At least <clears throat> against the teamer deck, Honor Guard's gonna be better. The problem with minusing a Johnny tooth and claw is Omnath takes. kills a Johnny if we minus. So Friendship feeds the soul. So I'm gonna tick up. Make this bloodthirsty earless even bigger, also. Yeah, that's a donate that means the two D's there stand for donation deck. So that's a deck that um, I did not put together, so it's Kind of helps out whenever um, people are like, well, why are you playing this card and not this card, and, and so on. Um, that would be a reason why. Did they play their land first? I hope you find peace. Do they just shock? Also? What's going on here? I 
Well, if they didn't play that land first, they could have doubled up the counters on the Risen Reef and killed my Ajani. <clears throat> Yay, spell. That's a good spell, too. Friendship is the best cure. That was a good spell, too. I was just hoping for any spell that wasn't, you know, just something that wasn't a land. You know, any creature or whatever. The, how does the land drop? So Omnath, whenever you play a land, Omnath puts a counter on an elemental. So that's why, so that's that's where that land came in there. Yes, for Splendid Angel is M19. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's get those in there, these in there, these in here. Um, gonna cut Vanguard Landing One Soul Mender. I wish Craven killed that O3 mana creature, but it doesn't. Those are definitely the weakest cards in our deck, those one drops. I wonder if we could get away with without playing those. Playing something else. Maybe just playing main deck honor guards. Out. All right, we got honor guards. That's our game plan. Yeah, I'll I'll be sad to have honor guard rotate. I've liked it. I've liked Honor Guard in Standard quite a bit. I'll be sad to see it rotate. Alright, we need something to gain some life. <clears throat> something to gain some life somewhere. Basically giving them a, another chance maybe to play like Nyssa for us to dispark. Ooh, okay. I'll gain some life. Get this other primate in here first. Yeah, everything's nice. I understand.
No, just yeah, no, just arena resonant. that thing <clears throat> could really use one of our gain life planeswalkers any planeswalker would be nice yep we're at nine hours 13 minutes so far because it's 9 13 eastern time started exactly at noon <clears throat> awesome dan glad you're yeah glad you really like the chromatic blacklist yeah that one yeah that was a really fun deck that's a sweet one cool glad to hear it of course if y'all missed the chromatic blacklist or any of the other decks i've ever played check them out on the youtube channel there youtube.com slash todd stevens mtg that's where you get all the replays if you miss any any of the sweet decks to play? Including we had a couple of really good ones today. A couple five O's. Yeah, there's going to be a, a format. There's a format on Arena that's going to be called Historic. Right now, they're not adding any old set cards to it. Man, if we could just gain a, a little bit more life. Because that's why we have those one drops in here. Forgive me. So we'll trade Pride Mate for Omnath if they attack with Omnath. So Historic, what it's going to be is it's going to start in the fall whenever rotation happens, whenever the new set comes out. It's going to be the current standard that we have right now with the eight sets that are right now in standard plus the ninth set that will be coming out this fall. So it'll be those those nine sets will make up historic. So it will basically be the same format that we're playing right now for the most part. Love Let it. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Your light will cleave the darkness. And then as sets continue to get added to Arena, like they'll just kind of keep on growing that format. So it'll turn into from 9 to 10 to 11 sets and so on. Hmm. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, that was a really good deck. What's going on over here? Probably shouldn't die to a lightning strike. So we'll chump the Omnath. The ringing of my sword is your death knell. <laughs> what a mess I made. Prepare for battle. All right. Yeah, that was a, a salt filled attack there. Takali Honor Guard, shutting them down. Need to make just an Orzov mid range deck. Kind of based around Honor Guard. Orzov Angels. Need to make an Orzov Angels deck. Honor Guard's great.
I'll keep this on the play. This is a slower one. <laughs> yeah, Honor Guard is a is a card that will make some people salty, that's for sure. All right, I'll save the Skyward Barons for turn four to be able to play after we play the Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Hey, another Simic deck. What a surprise. This one looks to be a different, different, sorry, different Simic deck. Um, so if this is Gates... Let's get, get Kitty here. Righteous path. I believe in you, friend. But we're four for four playing against blue green decks. Guess this one's <clears throat> kind of crazy, though. Life link. Will lend you my strength. Gain a life. Gain a life. I'm trying to stay ahead of Gates Ablaze. We got this three mana five six here. Have it not died to Gates Ablaze. Yes, yeah, so both Gideon and Aerialist. Even to play, even to go gate, gate to blaze to do five. They're not killing Aerialist. And they're not killing Gideon either. So they didn't tap their gate to draw a card. What are they what are they casting with those two mana? Growth spiral? It's gotta be growth spiral. Boom. No, lifelink doesn't stack, no. You can't have double lifelink. Dress, 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 dress. No mortifies, so. Guild Summit is just going to be in there. Not going to be doing anything about that. Rams are going to be difficult to deal with, too. Our hand was good there. I'm not thrilled about this matchup, though. I'm not too thrilled about this one. I guess Vanguard's my weakest one drop if I'm going to be cutting one drops. I really hope I submitted. I don't know if I submitted or not. I really hope so. Hmm. I think we're going to keep shuffling. All right, looks like we did submit.
Hmm. Well, I should take that guild summit that's going to draw millions of cards. going to be tough. I'm not taking the Clarion because it's probably going to be difficult for them to draw white mana. So I guess we're taking the Ablaze. No land pass? Ooh, the no land pass. It's a skillful move. You have to be very under control for the no land pass. Can I have Good instincts, good sir, good peripheral peripheral vision. Ah, never mind. I'll just quit. All right, three and one. No land pass. Yeah, to the no land concede. Ugh. Ugh. Nah, selective snare can't be. Can't be that good of a card, right? No. You went against Risen Reef. Yeah, Risen Reef is definitely a lot better than Rogue Refiner. Risen Reef's messed up. Rogue Refiner was just like, okay, yeah, that's a that's a good card and stuff. You know, you always put it four of in your decks and stuff, but Ris Risen Reef's messed up. Like they're not. Yeah. Hey, blue green deck number five. How many rounds have we played so far? Five? Yep, another blue green deck. What a surprise. So, our third, <coughs> third Risen Reef opponent. So far, we've been getting these Risen Reef opponents in the sideboard. I was kind of planning on playing the Bloodthirsty Aerialist, getting the, the Vanguard trigger and everything, but maybe I need to be Oath of Kaya-ing. No, let's, go, let's get in the air. I was fortunate. It's not the best trade for me with the Pride Mate there because whenever we gain life, we'll put counters. But also, remember, whenever they play lands, they put counters on their thing also. So they play a land. Like, it's probably just going to be trading. So we'll just get the Omnath out of there. Interesting. It's not one you see too often. Going down to six. They have to chump block. They're going to have to chump. That 
shock may not have been worth it. Time for a drink. Jump. Hump. Not sure if playing that Leafkin Druid was that necessary to pay two life in this spot. Uh, probably more of the first League of Tritons, but I don't know. We've been having some good success with it here. Keep on beating up these elemental decks. I think we've been getting pretty fortunate, though. Honor Guards! Takali calls for raid. Hmm. All right, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I probably need an extra land to be able to go with Dread Hordes. I know, I'm gonna, I like the explore sound too. What, what, <clears throat> kind of makes me upset is you know like they have that uh bugle sound for like the explorer sound i wish but like Mil militia bugler doesn't doesn't have that sound and it makes it makes me sad i want militia bugler to have that sound Thinking about ditching Healer's Hawk. I think it's Healer's Hawk or Moment of Craving. Well, we'll go with Moment of Craving. Draw a Johnny's Pride Mate. Draw a Johnny's Pride Mate. Johnny's primate, draw a Johnny's primate. Darn. And I guess we play the scoured barons here in case we draw Gidgen or Resplendent Angel. We want the double white. Got him. Definitely looks like they have removal in hand, you know, such as like lightning strike or shock. They're waiting for me to play other creatures. Okay, so stopped waiting. Maybe I should have just gone to five. This has not panned out. 
Johnny. Hmm. I gotta kill Risen Reef. I'm sorry, Johnny. You're cool. Let's do the twist. Swamp. Hmm. I don't know. I, like, if I play a Johnny here and minus... They can kill the Pride Mate with the Twister. They probably have, like, a Lightning Strike. How they're not doing stuff. Johnny Goldbane, and I will be your friend. I guess I should just knock should have just knocked just grasp before playing a Johnny, because I should have just done that last turn. Here comes some burn spells. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, I just had a couple of yogurts at the beginning of this video. That'll hold me over for the next two and a half hours that we have. No, I didn't have any of Johnny's in the Selesnia Tokens deck. Nothing that cost more than four. The only the only cards that cost three were um, History Banalia and Benelish Marshall. Just a bunch of, bunch of ones and twos. Enough! I hope we meet again soon. Alright, got a bunch of shocks out of their hand at least. Boo. Come on, 23 land deck. Stop drawing lands. We don't need 7 out of 14 cards. Half of our cards be lands. Not in our 23 land deck. We're out of stuff. More than half of our cards lands. That's number eight. So there's 17 more lands out of 45 cards. Come on, deck. I mean, uh, get the good luck. We have to charge up the sleeves for good luck. 
what we need to do. There we go. See, charge them up. Ugh. It's gonna really have anything to minus for, I suppose. They're down to 13. It's not a lot. My heart is hot. Oh yeah, 23 minus 8 is 15. Sorry. So it's 15 out of 45. Ugh. The weak My B. The strong. It's 15 out of 44 now. But let's, let's go with the, the other half. I want to see the aerialist. Bloodthirsty aerialist, right here, coming up top. Bloodthirsty aerialist. What happened? Did they activate the wrong creeping trailblazer or something? How am I still at three loyalty? What's going on here? I guess we could bring back another hawk. Accept the darkness within. The Soren's gonna die. Die anyway if we ticked up, so I guess we'll have another hawk around here. Oh, because the game shifted the attackers. Othakai doing work. Bloodthirsty Aerialist. It's a friend of Johnny's pride mate. They're out of shocks now. Come on, be out of shocks. Out of shocks, out of shocks. Out of shock, out of mind. Ooh. Okay, we got a 4-4. Four -four. Good form. I like it. Gotta get that activation in. No, not the lava coil. That's y'all. That's y'all's fault for saying coil inc incoming. Then obviously they have it. You're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say the opponent only has lands and has nothing, nothing in hand. Oh my gosh. We flooded out so bad. It's 10 lands now? <laughs> 10 out of our 19 cards have been lands. We only have 13. There's only 13 lands left. We have to draw all spells from now on. It's gotta be all spells. Nailed it. Hmm. They keep coiling everything. So we're not gonna minus since they're coiling. We're gonna be like an oracle and tick up. We got him in the hard lock. They can't attack Soren. They die if they attack Soren. It's the hard lock life for you. Boom, and we are four and one with a Johnny's Pride. Okay. That means we are on the final boss. Yeah, the the kitty clapped whenever we won. That was awesome. All right, final boss time. You cannot, all the decks that we played earlier today, you can find the deck lists on my Stream Decker page there, or you can go to the YouTube channel and 
you know, check out the video of the deck there, and you can find a link to the deck on the YouTube channel also. Either one. That's how you find all the decks. We need a white kitty. There we go. Hey, Temple of Mystery again. Every single round has started with blue-green dual land. Every single round. It's just blue-green deck. Six for six. We got a good hand here, though. Elementals for the fourth time in this league. Four out of six have been elementals. And we've beaten all the elemental decks so far. Right? Didn't we? No, we, we lost to one of them that was that was uh, the mass manipulation one. So we lost to a mass manipulation. It's tough to beat. Trigger, trigger, gain a life, trigger, trigger. Mm. All right, you dead. One, one vampire, you did, you did your job. Wow, just no blocks, didn't even block the vampire. We got him. We got him, kitty, we bluffed him. We got him. Didn't even block the vampire. No, mass manipulation. <laughs> Boo. Sweet. I'll be lethal. All right, well, we got game one. But can we defeat mass manipulation? Unlikely. But we're going to try. Hmm. No, the honor guards are going to the side. They are they're from the sideboard. They come in, bring them in. They the honor guards have been so clutch though. They're they're, they're certainly been a reason why I've been doing so good. We just keep on getting paired against these risen reef decks. Honor guards have been clutch. Uh, I don't think arena will ever come to mobile. I don't think that will ever happen. There's been no announcement about any, you know, about it at all or anything. Just opinion from me is I don't believe it'll ever happen. Hmm. 
This is it's not a bad hand, but I don't think this hand wins. I don't think this hand wins either. Primate's a good draw. We'll see. I could I could certainly get punished for putting two lands down to the bottom if we don't draw another one. I just have to act I just have to cast duress here. I don't I want to play Gideon, but we just we've got to play duress before the Nissa turn. That Risen Reefs just sped up the Nissa turn. Ugh, Omnath kills my pride mate. Looks like we're dead. I mean, we're not gonna beat all these cards that are gonna be drawn with Risen Reefs now. I... I tried, I mulled to five. I was definitely looking for Takali Honor Guard. This would this hand that our opponent had, if we had honor guard, we would have wrecked them. Share in my honor guard would have been great here. Because they're really relying on Risen Reef to hit land drops. If, if we had honor guard, they would have just been dead. Like they would just have wouldn't have had like the lands or anything. I wanted to duress on turn four. I know my first three turns we already had. Yeah, I know we had our first three turns lined up, but I wanted to be duressing turn four because there's just too many times that I've cast duress in this kind of matchup and um, and it whiffs. You know, like it doesn't, like they don't have any spells. Our opponent here, though, they are playing... They're certainly playing a lot of spells. Entrancing Melody also. It's been the, the death of us, all these games that we've lost have all been these steel cards. I mean, that, that game wasn't really the steel card, but that was the thing that put the nail in the coffin. These two. All right, we're going to be on the play here. This is Super Smash. This is a Super Smash theme. Or it's a version of it. Should I put a hawk back or a chapel back? I think I'm going to put a hawk back. I think I'm going to try to just... 
Hopefully we just draw spells. Because, like, if I... If I put the chapel back, I'm kind of needing to draw lands, and I really don't want to draw lands, because if we're drawing lands, we're not winning. So I'm going to put the hawk back and say these are our three lands, and we're going to draw spells. Is that right? Nah. Even though I'd like to draw all spells, it's just not the prob you know, the probability that we're gonna draw another land is pretty high. Yeah, should have been, should have been duress. Should have put a duress back. Protection from white. Sure. Got to find something for Krasis. I draw another land. That's something for Krasis. Getting so punished for putting back the other duress. Yep, should have put back the other duress. They just had so many spells. The other games they had so many spells. I guess we're gonna have to contempt one of these berserkers, I suppose. So if I attack, I go to five. No, I die. I can't attack. I guess I just have to contempt. I don't have another choice. I think if I could play the Bloodthirsty Aerialist here, and I, I just can't. I mean, if they have the counter spell, I'm dead anyway. Yep. Darn. Our luck ran out. Wah, wah.
Game over. But still, a very good league. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that league at all. You know, we had to lose to... You know, those teamer decks eventually keep on playing against them. I guess we lost twice, so both times so we went we went two and two against the Risen Reef decks. Yeah, we went two and two against Risen Reef decks. Um the both both Risen Reef decks that we lost to were decks that were playing Entrancing Melody and Mass Manipulation. Those were the two that we lost to. The two that weren't playing those cards were the ones that we beat. And then we also beat Nexus and Gates. So a good showing for our deck, honestly. Definitely a really good showing. We didn't really get to play the strength, Johnny Strength of the Pride hardly at all this league. Didn't have it very much. We did, we did mulligan a ton. Like we were just mulliganing all the time. So maybe we're supposed to have like another land and, and go a little bigger. I would like to kind of peruse through. So as we talked about, like the one drops are the weakest cards in the deck. Like these, besides the healer's hawks, even kind of the healer's hawks, to be honest, but just the one drops in general are the weakest cards in the deck. Um, because, yeah, like, as we saw, like, that last game, we had three healer socks, but they were, were very easy to go over the top of. Um, well, <laughs> I can't play Lazatep Plating or Veil of Summer. That's, those are blue and green cards. I can't play either of those here in this black-white deck. Um, and, yeah, we, we were sideboarding in the Duresses against those manipulation decks, and multiple times we just whiffed on Duress also. Which is disappointing. So I feel like the deck's pretty close. I feel like maybe if we could go a little bit bigger. And not play the one drops. And if we can get enough consistent life gain. Because Pride Mate Aerialist are awesome. We get to trigger them a bunch. But as we saw, there's there definitely games like where we just ran over our opponents with all the one drops. It, it's certainly possible that I was sideboarding out the one drops too much. That maybe against like the maps manipulation deck like that, I, I was supposed to be keeping in all the one drops. So I may not have been correct there. Um, yeah, I don't know. This deck's this deck's pretty good though, and it's definitely close. Like the Pride Mate and Aerialist are very powerful, especially the Aerialist being in the air. And gaining all that life and everything, and and uh, being you know just being such a big flyer. Bloodthirsty Aerialist was one of our best cards the whole time. Yeah, pretty sweet deck here. Like maybe maybe we actually go bigger, go like Lyra. You know, like Lyra also with like Resplendent Angel, the the Bishop. Also, you know, like going with the Bishop Pride Mate for like the two drops. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Bloodthirsty Aerialist was maybe our best card in our deck. It was awesome. But uh, Corpse Knight. Hmm. I think basically for that card, you're you're all you're doing is kind of playing your card for like the life gain, and I like the soul the soul mander costing one mana. I'd prefer that over Corpse Knight. But yeah, this deck could be, you could turn it into an Abzan deck and then you get Veil of Summer and then you get Green White of Johnny and you get Knight of Autumn, get some cool stuff. Oh, well. um, yeah, yeah, Shadow, I got that. All right, uh, that's it here for Johnny's Pride. If you're watching the video on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.